being an artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like a nigga in front of the game since, hey. Yeah. Yeah. I see the nigga come up. I swear, like, I see the nigga come up. <laughs> How you yeah. be, you good? I appreciate you too. Oh, every time, man. Yeah, you know, you good? Every time, I need that boost, man. Yeah. You know, I need you. you know, they asking for you. Know, you know, they, they Listen, no, you should have let that man family grieve for he did all this old dapping and hugging. Everybody just seen that motherfucker trial and seen that this man resurface footage of him getting shot. But he want to go over there, do all this. Hey, I see, man. All That's that. all. I ain't even gonna lie, I failed the test. I told my family, I told my staff, I told my team members of my Muslim community that I wasn't going to say stuff about the nigga boots. I just seen this him with him and old boy and this like struck a nerve. But that's my word. From now on, I ain't going to say about the nigga. Zero. I'm going to stay off all the bull. I'm going to stop trolling. I think I got my get back. You know, I just was mad that he did all that to me while I was in prison and, you know, I got out and, you know, we went, we couldn't talk and we couldn't meet up. I was just like, nigga ain't my friend no way, so I might as well just keep going on and on. But at my word, I'm going to delete this off my story and I'm going to just leave it on. That's my word. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And first and foremost, I do want to say rest in peace to young Dolph with his name being tied to this story. He still has a family, his wife, his kids, all of his close friends, anybody that dealt with him on the day to day, the whole PRE team and label, anybody that's still going through it with their loss, still grieving that, still got to send them condolences and say rest in peace and God bless the soul of young Dolph. As it got kicked up again the other day, as Boosie posted up a photo and a video to his Instagram and Twitter account that he had ran into Yo Gotti. From what it seems, he was at a video shoot with Glorilla and Sexy Red. They doing a Wipe Me Down remix and everything like that. He had said that Gotti had looked out for him while he was in prison and everything like that as well back in the game and things of that nature. They had old music together and everything like that. Well, when Rollo saw this, he decided to go up there, and that's why I put that in the beginning so y'all can see exactly what Rollo said. He went to Twitter. Boosie eventually came through and said, hey, bro, this dude is obsessed and everything like that. Well, now, one of Dolph Bros, homies, and somebody else that's with uh, PRE, one of the team members, they like family over there, came to Instagram and said this, Kenny Money. All that playing clickbait or whatever y'all call that ish, in the name of my nigga, it only lasts so long. It's real blood, sweat, and tears behind Dolph. Y'all want whatever it is y'all want, but y'all ain't trying to get no straightening about my nigga. Quit speaking on situations with them folks on the other side, because it ain't a game. If anybody know a young Dolph, he don't give a D what nobody else doing or who the F, who effing with who. Let my nigga rest. If you love Dolph, love him, hold his legacy, but quit speaking on street ish unless you on dirt, cause we the ones gotta face a letter later. Then he added Rollo and he added academics and said, I lost plenty of respect for y'all too. I know a play when I see one. And Kenny Money is somebody who really was with Dolph, really paper route, really dealt with him. Gotta take his word what he say. He ain't wrong at all in how he feel when he say, hey bro. Dolph is really my man. This is really our family. This is really somebody we tied to, and it's real blood and tears behind this, bro. Really things going on or things that have went on. So when I see y'all on the internet running it and speaking on it and kind of like using his name to go up as he views it, that's the way he feel about it. He ain't feeling that. He don't want to see nobody trying to call out beef because he's saying Dolph would never come out and say nothing about that. Dolph wouldn't trip about nobody rocking with nobody. He like, hey, for the people who are involved in this situation, we know who he is. If you're not really in it like that, we don't need you speaking on it. That's his perspective on it. All I can say is he really rock with Dolph. That's his man. He an artist on paper route, been dropping, been doing his music. 
being steady releasing and active and things like that. Even when I went to the uh, Dolph uh, Museum out here that they had for him a while back, he was out there as well. Like he steady supporting Dolph, supporting everything paper route. He locked in, so he just got tired of seeing everything online. He feeling like, bro, this is clickbait going on, talking to Rollo and academics. That's his opinion on it. And I can't tell nobody who really locked in with Dolph and the family and the team like he is on what opinion they should have about it and things like that. So he want to clear it up. He don't want to see people using Dolph's name or speaking up on the Dolph situation if they not really locked in with it. And he got a right to that opinion, most definitely. I just say this, bro, for Boosie, Rollo, and even Boosie, you know, not, I mean, even just Rollo, really. Like, he feels a way about what him and Boosie got going on. He feels a way about what Boosie said about him on the internet and things like that. But you got to know, whenever you go to these blogs, it's going to throw gasoline on the fire. It's going to make it become a bigger thing. And it's going to get pushed to millions and millions of people, bro. And I tell you like this. Niggas can feel how they want to feel about it. You know the people that's watching Boosie. He fighting a federal case right now. This is not a secret. Rollo, you just came home. You got to know that the feds is watching you. Any problems y'all got, I feel like y'all should handle them off the internet. That's just... For y'all to not crash out to get it into some stuff that you'll end up probably regret later on. I can't tell no nigga how to feel about something that was said about him online or nothing like that. But y'all ain't just got no regular degular stuff going on like some YouTuber issues or some sports media personalities or things like that. Y'all got real like problems in history and things that could pot potentially go wrong with y'all situations with the people around y'all. So... Tell me what y'all think. Shout out to Kenny, Kenny Money. Rest in peace to Young Dolph again. Shout out to the old Paper Route team and everybody else out there in Memphis. Man, y'all hold y'all head. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.